Okay, so here's another one, similar setup. This was, uh, this was a swarm that I captured on a power line trail. And this one is in mostly shaded area. It's about 200 or so feet from where we just moved uh, the first colony. And uh, so I'm give, giving them some space in between. So again, all I have to do is just set this on the ground and put their permanent hive into place. So we'll just put it right here. And then we'll bring the permanent hive in. Oh, and they are heavy. In case you're wondering. So we'll set it there. And there we go. Get my follower board ready. I have a couple of frames. I've got frames with starter strips. I just so happen to have plastic starter strips on those. I think I'll bring the camera around this side. Maybe you can see a little better. All right, let's start putting them in. I had to take the screws out of the cover. It was really secure because this was a remote location and I always screw the lids on. Okay, got just a little crazy comb on the walls. Hopefully that won't make it too hard to deal with here. Lots of hive beetles in this one, but they had them all at the top. So I'm using my hive tool to get rid of them. Here's our first frame. We got the easiest one first, and it's a frame with brood, and the honey band across the top looks really good. We'll set that in there. I'm using this opportunity to clean off a little bit of burr comb. Just going to put it into place and let's get the next one and this one is drawn down a little bit yeah, about the same point they've made it down to the bamboo uh, I guess we could watch for a queen I'd like to think this is a wild swarm um, I suppose if I saw a queen with a, a marker dot on her back, that would be a, a beekeeper's queen. Unless they've figured out a way to mark themselves in the wild. Let's see. I don't generally mark my queens. I do keep track with notes, however. I like to keep track of when I bring the swarms back. Okay, this was the uh, frame that had a piece of comb from last year on it. I use that as a, a bait to get them interested in the, in the box. And there's a fairly good number of hive beetles in this particular colony, so I'm getting them as I see them. The good thing about this is that I noticed when I opened the box that the bees had the hive beetles pretty much corralled in the upper portion of the box. So I killed, I killed them with my hive tool. All right. And so I hope, I'd like to think I got them all. I'm not 100% sure. Well, there is a way to know. And this colony is looking good. They got their beautiful comb built out real nice. Uh, I don't know if I want to see a queen or not. The starter strips worked out real well. Everything's nice and level. Uh, the comb looks real straight. 
straight and level. That's, that's because when we put the traps in the tree, we level them right there on the spot, right when we put them in the tree. Two more frames left. Oh, there's more beetles that we gotta get. And we'll get them. Okay, yeah, they had them corralled pretty good. Okay, so I uh, I don't think they're gonna build much more than than what we see here built. Again, I'm just taking a quick look, see if I spot a queen, and I have not seen one yet. I haven't been looking real hard. I guess when I see uh, eggs and brood, I'm, I'm not all that worried about the queen, and I see a lot of pollen coming in, so I know they're rearing brood, and I can see the brood. So, all good indicators. And I got some bird comb attached to the wall on this one. The last one that I gotta get out. So we gotta get that loose. Okay, hopefully that'll pry loose good. I see just a little more burr comb. I gotta make sure it's free. It'd be a lot easier to pull that. Oh, and there's a bumblebee trying to fly around close, hoping he doesn't cause any trouble. And there it goes. Okay. Got it. It had a little bit of burr comb. We're gonna take that off. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So on this side, this was the side that was against the wall. So I'm gonna remove these few pieces. I'm just gonna take them off. And then this side looks good. So I'll just remove those now, I'll just set this down so I can work. The bees are being real calm, so it's a good time to do this. Maybe I'll try to do this so you can see. All right, so here's our burr comb. I think they just have some nectar in there, and uh, we can have a little treat. We just break it off nice and easy. You can just pick it up like this. Yeah, it's got nectar in it. And then just kind of shave this little piece off here. And again here, take all that so I'm using the classic one and a half inch top bars that touch lay-ins frames. So if you've been watching some of my videos, you see I've got a little bit of variation going on. Um, just trying a few different things, mainly to control hive beetles. So this one is, is going to go in. Now um, I'm thinking because they haven't really drawn down much, I, uh, I don't know that they need 10 frames to work. So they had, uh, what did they have? One, two, three, four, four, they had six. They had six frames to work. So I'm just gonna give them maybe one or two additional frames because they've only drawn half, halfway down. I, I don't even know if they're gonna continue to draw down on them or not. So I'm just gonna move one here. And I'm gonna slide everything over. And there we go. They're ready to start. I got some bees in the box we're gonna need to shake out. So I'm going to give them a total of eight frames to work. So they got the six that came out of the swarm trap, and I gave them two additional frames 
I'm putting the follower board in place. That's all I'm going to give them for this year. I don't think they're going to build much more than that. I'm going to shake these. And the bees on the comb here, we're going to shake them in front of the hive. This is a nice little piece of comb with some nectar in it. So if you're hungry, working in the bee yard, there's some that's capped too. You could have a little capped honey right there. So we'll just shake them in front of the hive. Might as well get it early. Hmm. All right. Pretty good stuff. Very sweet. If you like candy, this is it. Nature's candy is right here. Oh, pretty good. Now, who's left? Who's left in this box? I'm gonna have to shake them out of here. Mm. I wanna make sure our queen's not in here. All right, here's what's left. There's some bees I gotta get off the side wall here. And bees are walking around. So we're gonna have to get them out of here. All we have to do is pretty much just bounce them in front of the hive. I just want to make sure my queen's not in that group. And if they are, uh, or if she is, I should say, I'll, uh, I'll put her in a clip and then put her inside. Okay, put the extra frames in. And we need to get our bees out that are on the inside of the closed off section. Get them out of there. A little bit of honey on that frame. Hmm. Cleaned it off. Pretty good stuff. Okay bees. We're gonna close up. Come on, get out of here. Go on out. There we go. All right, so we can close this. This swarm was captured uh, about two weeks ago. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and dump them out. Bump them once this way, and then let's get them out. This is my uh, paper towel that I put lemongrass oil on. There's my paper towel, my Ziploc baggie. All right, they'll go in the front entrance. Got to get the swarm trap away from where they can see it. Now they're in their permanent house. Oh, what are we doing here, guys? Yeah, they're crawling up the leg here. They're crawling and they're fanning. I'll try and get you some video of that, too. All right. There they are at the entrance. There's the ventilation hole. I've got aluminum screen on that. There's some bees with pollen looking for a place to put it. Once they see where the entrance is right here, the bees will call them over. Okie dokie. I think they just, they can smell uh, they're, they're at home, 
they recognize their smell. That ventilation hole is working, that's what that means. It gets pretty warm here in Georgia, so I put a ventilation hole. I'll never use it as an entrance, but there is screen, aluminum screen there, and then I also put an entrance disc in its place with the ventilation holes showing. That way they can uh, not get too hot. In the summer it gets pretty hot. We get up in the 90s and um, you got to be careful of comb collapse and things like that. Comb collapse is, is pretty much the thing you got to watch for. Now because they had a good amount of hive beetles in here, I think I got them, but you never know. There's probably one or two that are hiding in that comb somewhere and and we'll have to make sure that uh, they can control that. They had a, a high number of hive beetles for a colony that's only been in a, in a box for about two weeks. That's a lot of hive beetles. I saw probably maybe 15 or 20. To me that's a high amount for the number of uh, days that they were in the box. 